Hey y'all, it's your girl Queen and I'm back with another Seasons oh, okay. Seasons video and we're looking at Mel and she just woke up. Um, she looks happy but she's actually very tense because of the lovelorn trait that just popped up which I understand because her and her wife just did the little wicked wicked. Not just now but like at 7 o'clock but that's not the point so I don't understand why she's all upset and her feelings and she's not feeling good so yeah Mel is just going through it honey I just don't understand I done uh, had her working out I've been having her eat sleeping I don't know and then on top of that she's just not losing any weight so I'm not understanding what's going on with my girl so she is gonna get her family situated and when everybody is off to school and work, she's going to go have her some weight loss surgery. I don't know, I guess, because working out seems to not be working. She's been working out for five days straight and nothing is happening. So she's just going to go get the surgery and then keep working out and keep the weight off. So that's what she's going to do. But she has another baby on the way and she has a new member in her family because Loki was in heat so i was like well let's have another puppy because i would love to see what a puppy looked like between a yorkie and a corgi but no mel wants to go and get pregnant so now that she's pregnant there won't be able to be another baby i mean puppy in the household so yeah we just found out that she's having a baby she's sleeping right now or pretty self high and she's all happy and stuff and her wife is in pain and sick and stuff it's just crazy um on top of that, our baby girl's birthday is coming up tomorrow, so she will be a young adult. And then today is a new holiday called Night on the Town. So basically what happens is, can I read it? Oh, well, it's happening right now, so maybe I got to read it up here. No? No? All right. Well, how am I supposed to read it? Are you going to tell me? Are you going to tell me? It's really not gonna... Oh, okay, right here. It says local businesses want to show some customer appreciation by offering free food and drinks. It's time to get out of the house and visit a venue. So basically what we're going to do tonight is after everybody's home from school and work, we're going to go out to one of the restaurants in town and have a free meal. So we're going to have a night on the town. And then on Saturday, we're going to have just a little family birthday for... Um, for um, what is your name, Marissa? Yeah, I just totally, yeah, that was horrible. So, let's go ahead and put the event in the calendar now. So, the birthday sim is going to be baby girl, and then the guest is going to consist of Mel, Jim, McKenna, Majori, um, Bray, Corey, Maverick. Okay, so we're going to have everybody. Well, the lot of people she know. So she can have her future boo, future boo, and her two friends there, or whatever, to come and be a part of her little birthday dinner. So we're going to have, no, we're not going to have a caterer or a mixologist or an entertainer. We don't need all that stuff. We got music and all that. Um, unfortunately, it's going to probably be raining. Um, and let's have it. Why well, I gotta be at these locations? Yeah, the Vera residence. Oh, how about we have it at their house? Oh, no, we're not. Because never can be like, bad. you could come over to my house. And, you know, we had a little party at, your, at my house if you want. Now nah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have it at the Vera household. And um, we gotta make sure we lock all the doors for everybody but household members so can't no guests go into the girls' rooms or whatever. Hopefully, Jim is pregnant with another girl. We're gonna see how that work out. Because, like I said, I made them have all girls. But then again, they can add a boy to the family. You never know. But um, we're gonna have the party start at 12 or whatnot so they're gonna have a party at the vera household at 12 o'clock for baby girl's birthday okay um so yeah so the event is in and then tonight after everybody's get home we're gonna go out to dinner but first is male surgery um yeah 
So basically, what are you doing? Your homework is done, okay, good. And you got one skill to level four. What skill do you have at level four? Oh, your motor skills, good job. So basically, all of our kids are basically not being really that active. She's only active because of her Girl Scouts. But um, every, all of our children are gaining weight as well. So I don't know, like Marissa is, McKenna is, <laughs> Majori is, I don't know, they all just gaining weight. Everybody but Mel, Mel went and had her surgery already. And she's kind of been maintaining her weight just a tad bit to not gain, like, get bigger. Uh, free food and drinks ignores this tradition. So they probably don't even wanna go. We probably just lead them home. Local business, oh, I read that already. So what about Mel? Okay, so Mel wants to do it, and so will Jim. So this, this could probably be, oh wait, so does Marissa, she wants to do it. McKenna doesn't, and Majori doesn't. So we could probably leave the girls home, and then Mel could treat her wife and her oldest um, for a dinner date tonight. And it could be kind of like the adult dinner date for Marissa's birthday. We could do that. We could do that. Okay. Um, as far as Napoleon, I don't know if we're going to keep him. Why is he in a dress? I don't know. That's what the game put him in. And I haven't been in creative sim since I got him. So, he has to do his party dance. We're probably about to put him up for adoption. So, we're not going to keep him. But I will do this Yorkie and Corgi mating thing one day in one of my series. But... Not today, because I think I'd rather have more babies than puppies. So yeah, even though it's gonna be a little harder, even though it's hard either way, harder with babies and hard with puppies is hard. So we're gonna go, oh wait, we're gonna go over here. Oh, well she has to use the bathroom first. So I'm gonna let her use the bathroom and then I'm gonna let her come over here and put him back up for adoption. So granted we're gonna be at $200, but it's okay. We're not hurting for no money. So, can I get a ham shit? So, it's okay. Like, we're not going to be tripping. So, let's go. Exactly. So, we're already at our max. Put pet up for adoption in Napoleon. I mean, he clicked with our family instantly, too. But, it's okay. It was We ain't had him that long. So, it's not like a connection like with Loki. So, it's okay. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, Marissa is at work right now at Sephora. And then the girls, what do you got? Why are you eating outside, little girl? Little girl. Eating tofu tacos outside. You're going to be sick. And I have to take you to the hospital again. We had to go to the hospital. Well, that was Majori. But we had to go to the hospital with Majori because she was really sick. So we had to take her to the hospital. It's almost McKenna's birthday. What in the world? McKenna's birthday is Sunday. So we're gonna have another party for McKenna. Oh, wait, she can't, oh, I'm under the wrong person. So we're gonna go, no, McKenna can't throw her own birthday? That sucks. So we're gonna go in here and put McKenna's birthday on the calendar as well. So another birthday party. And it's going to be McKenna's birthday, which makes sense because they literally are back to back from one another, just to be honest. Mel, Jim, Marissa, Majori. And we're just going to have it a house event, like just these members of the family. Granted, she does have a best friend, um, but right now we're going to just keep it with the family. Okay, so then that's it. And then we're going to also have it at the house. Um, at 12 as well. Are we going to have a pool? Oh, you know what? It is another place that I have. Let me see. I don't know if it's for like, what is this? No. It's that place right next door. Let's have it at a park. Mm, I don't know what the temperature is going to be. Let's see. Well, actually, the temperature is going to be partly cloudy. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's have her birthday. Oh, it would have been better on a Monday because it's going to be sunny. But you know what? Let's just have her birthday at the park, okay? So we're going to have a birthday party. Um, The birthday sim is going to be McKenna. 
Um, the guest is going to consist of Jim, Marissa, Majori, and then we're not going to have any of those, and we're going to have it at, which part do we want to have it at? Desert Bloom? No. That's a dog park. Magnolia Blossom? Hmm. We might can do that one. I mean, they don't have that much for her to play with, but... What about hair square? I think we're gonna do hair square. I think that's where we're gonna do it. Let's make sure it's not no other place that we could go to. Especially not a nightclub or a lounge. No. I don't do the pool. No, it's too cold. It's gonna be too cold. Um we could do it at the bowling alley. Uh I don't really wanna play bowling. <laughs> the boardwalk. Hmm, Ashuno Meadows. Oh, no. The summer home? Oh, not there. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna have it at... Yeah, we're just gonna have it at... Where did it go? Um, Hair Square, Hair Square. At 12. Okay, so let's go. All right. And so that birthday, I didn't really realize it was gonna do it like that, but... Hey, I did, like I said, create them from scratch. Nobody gave birth to anybody. So this is actually going to be the first actual her being pregnant that y'all see um, on the video. So that's good, I guess. And then Thanksgiving or Harvest Fest is on Thursday. Um, I'm probably going to have all of them um, um, not go to school that day. So they'll have that day off. And then I think they all have enough vacation day to have Friday off as well. So that's what we're going to do. Um, obviously, this might have to be a two-part video. Um, two video parts. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Two videos or whatever. So that's good. So at least y'all have um, an SL video that should be up by now. And then we'll have two seasons videos coming out. And um, whatever else comes out. Because that's my goal right now is two seasons video. And after I get my two seasons video out... I'm just going to randomly pick another series to do a video on. I just don't know which one it's going to be yet. But I haven't done it's Life, so, Life of a Queen in a while. So we'll, it might be that one. We'll see. But anyway, so let's get back to this video. So Mel is doing an adoption. Are you sure you want to have... Ha blah, blah. Are you sure you want Napoleon to be taken away? No, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm sorry. They're all going to be sad for a little while, but it's okay. They'll be okay. Nobody really interacted with him anyway, so he was just kind of there for um, Loki. But Loki will be okay. Um, I added more stuff to the house. Let's pop. Little girl, you are blowing me. Go in the house. Clean that up. Okay? Just clean that up. Um, what can you do until then? I'm sorry, Loki. You waiting on him to pick you up? I'm so sorry. That looks so sad. But now he can go somewhere where somebody can actually, you know, um, take care of you and take you on walks and stuff. But two dogs is kind of a lot. Um, look at the drawing that your sister did. Do that. No, no, no. You know what? Fill this bowl. Fill all the bowls. Yeah, do that. There you go. And what are you doing, Miss Thing? You're cleaning up. Okay, so... Like I was saying, I added this area. I think I showed y'all already the um the laundry room, but I moved the stuff around because I did not know that was right there. No wonder it wouldn't fit. But um I added this little bottom area down here so that I had to move so I had to move this. And over here, I didn't even know I had this y'all, but this is just a bathtub for dogs and um toddlers. I don't know why they did that. That's disgusting. But I'm just going to use it for Loki. I'm not putting no toddler in this bathtub. That's just nasty. So, I added this next level, which is their in-home gym. So, now they have an in-home gym. And they also have a surgery thing down here. So that if Loki ever gets sick, which she never does, they'll just give her surgery from down here instead of taking her to a vet because... The vet was tripping when we went to the vet. So, we're just going to do it from here, and it'll be free. And I'm about to send her back down here and neuter her back the way she was. She was neutered, even though it kept saying she was a heat, but whatever. So, 
we're gonna neuter her even though her cone just came off so we might leave her alone for a while so she won't have surgery back to back like that but yeah so now they have an in-home gym and all of them are down here that be down here working out and stuff and i also took mel to the gym and it was actually a good experience she did really good and then i had jim come with her after she got off work and you know they did pretty good and now back to play so yeah we're waiting on him to come get low um napoleon i'm sorry napoleon i shouldn't even did that to you like that um baby girl's now home from work she's still sore from working out like she worked out hard so yeah i'm sure she's in pain hold the hold the, hold up who are you are you cute who are you this is Corey. Corey, since when you do a dog's adoptions and stuff honey you look nice in that suit though boo marissa did you say hey to your future father-in-law hello future father-in-law how you doing but anyway so yeah he's coming to get napoleon hell he could take napoleon to his house by Napoleon we're sorry Napoleon was given up for adoption and taken away by adoption services now everybody's sad I know I know I know I'm a horrible human being I know sorry but we can't because we have a new baby coming and our focus needs to be on the baby so I'm gonna need all of y'all to get over this with the quickness okay I don't need y'all in here sad what's this pet taken away from giving up pet uh-uh we not doing this y'all are not about to hurt my feelings like this i am sorry i'm sorry okay i'm sorry work for um she's off to school hello go to school okay you're going to school um and there she is there's our big belly baby that belly got big quick so i'm gonna need for her not to have more than one baby in there, which she probably doesn't because, oh, good Lord. Her belly is really big for her to be in trimester one, y'all. Maybe because she was already like a little thick. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be big as a house by tr trimester three. Oh my God. Whoa, but yeah. Um, Temperature, sorry, it's cloudy and it's cool outside and it's a chance of rain. And we are in day 20 of 28. So we are almost officially done with our full first season which is um fall for our seasons let's play so um she's gonna go get her some tacos um hopefully she'll have time to also take a shower before work if not you know we gonna help our girl out and whatever but um you know they have a lot of plants out here so i'm kind of excited for them to go to summer um also jim went to the farmer's market with the explore mine and she came back with for Christmas roses, while not exactly a rose, this Christmas rose is a star-shaped flower that is gorgeous at all times. And this flower is in seasons. Like, I really want her to plant this, to be honest. So I'm probably going to put a planter box right here. She also came back with some cherries or whatever. And then I think Loki gave her a, pla a pile of feathers. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of those because she don't need those feathers. And what is this? parenting volume three she also needs to pride and joy a guide for lesbian gay bisexual and trans parents oh, i didn't even remember i bought that she should read that and i'm also going to get her uh what to expect. well she don't need that because she's been a parent to three girls already so she don't need the what to expect book so i'm not going to do that um so i'm gonna go ahead and have her go ahead and start her girl go ahead and get ready for your surgery here, change your clothes so you can go. Change outfits to your outside wear. Stop dancing, please. Thank you. And now yeah. I'm going to have you go Show ahead, find a service, and I'm going to go have her um, intense fat reduction surgery, intense bodybuilder implants. Oh, who's calling? Somebody did something at school. We found Marissa in the bathroom stall today eating a sandwich. This is unexpected, and we're not sure what to make of it, but figured we should call you. That's just wrong when you're hungry and needs to go. Let's just say that's just wrong because that's not, she doesn't, it's affecting her manners. So let's do that one. So her manners increase and her empathy 
decrease, which is fine because that's nasty for one. She knows better. So, like I was doing, pause. So let's go back to the explore mod, find a service, and let's see. I've had her work out with trainers. I've had her jog. I've had her run with Loki. I've had her go to the gym. I even bought her in-home gym, and nothing is working. So intense fast increase, no. A mild fat increase, no. Get birth control shot, that's what male, um gym should have had. And how about we just go intense fast reduction. Mild, no. I'm going to do an intense one. So it's going to take three hours and it's going to cost her $1,150. But she feels like it's worth it. She done been through everything. Um, it seems to work for Jim. So she's going to go ahead and do it. She's been eating better. I've even changed what they ate. Like they only eat vegetarian stuff now. They haven't ate anything that wasn't vegetarian except for like some pan fried tilapia. But you know, it's fish, you know? So they be eating tofu, they be eating the little fake BLT without the bacon, like everything. And it's nothing seems to be working for her. She don't eat after a certain hour. So it's just like, look, she's just gonna go get her surgery and she's just gonna call it a day. And in three hours, we're gonna see if she's back to the old male. And Loki, are you okay, mama? You're sad, why are you sad? You're getting, you need some attention and you need to go poop okay marissa has two different tests today and one of them is going to be tough there's a little time to study beforehand should she spend all of her time studying for the harder test or use the time to study for both tests equally let's study for the harder test because if you got the other test then you shouldn't really have to worry about it but let's study for that harder test it says marissa breezes through the easy test and the extra study time on the harder test really pays off she gets an a minus and a b plus not bad and got a small performance gain now the pink bib majority is sitting next to a kid at lunch when she spies something pink in his lunch box lunch box is that a bib the kid smiles nervously and claims that he got his baby sister's lunch again then the bib falls out where everyone can see it pick it up or just ignore it um Okay, me, I pick it up and be like, okay, and got a bib. You know, that's just me, even though it ain't mine and I don't use no bib. But then if I ignore it, I feel bad because then he going to get picked out. But then I'll just mind my business because they ain't got nothing to do with me or whatever. Now, she pick it up. Everybody going to think it's her. She going to be embarrassed. She going to come home mad with the little attitude that she always got. Or uh, if she ignore it, she going to feel bad. And I don't know. Um, We going to ignore it. So, it says lunch is almost over when the class bully noticed the bill on the floor. Like, I knew he would. He can't help but find the little baby who dropped it. But the new kid says nothing. Neither does the majority. Okay, good. It worked out then. Who may have just made a new friend. That's what's up. So, she ended up with a new friend. Good. Um, so, so she's hungry. Well, right now, you need to worry about your surgery. And you, oh, Lord. Why is it? Oh, morning sickness, I figured. So she, we're going to help her out with her hygiene and her bladder because she obviously didn't get to do anything. Bills have been delivered. Good Lord of mercy. $5,339. Dang, but they not hurting, so I'm not worried. So we're going to go and have her do her homework in class, even though they come home and still need to do homework. And then for some reason, I can't get it to work for her, but it's okay because it's her last day in high school so she doesn't really care about homework so she basically chilling like this is a chill day for her she about to graduate she ain't worried whatever you feel so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and hit that good button our baby is sleeping on the couch and then waiting on somebody to get home okay so mel is home and I'm really excited to see if my girl is back. And she is. She is back. The male is back, honey. Still thick to the gods, but in the right places. So we're going to help her keep this weight off. She's going to be fabulous. She's going to be gorgeous. And not saying that plus size is like big, because I'm definitely plus size. But... That's not how her original shape was, and I was having a hard time getting it off. And I don't want... Well, go in the house then, crazy. You the one standing out there in the rain. Oh, Lord, she about to die. Don't you die on me. Let me save this game. Uh-uh. She gonna die. 
Okay, so now we're back. So I'm so happy that Mel is back to her shape. Um, she's going to grab her. You know what? Nope. No, 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 ma'am. Let's have something quick. Why go out there? Let's have something quick because we are going to eat. I know your blood pressure is low. I know. Matter of fact, here, let's go. Oh, you know what? No. Let's go have you a quick meal. Um, have a quick meal of, um, how about some yogurt? Have a quick meal of some yogurt. You can have some of that since your blood pressure is low. Chat with, who? We can chat with him. We don't know who that is. What are you sad about? From exploring. Mel seems to be sad because of something that happened while exploring. She got her body back. Like, Mel, re Relax. Okay, so get you some yogurt just to hold you over until dinner. And then everybody should be doing good at school and at work. Let's have her stock some shelves. Because as y'all know, she is still in the uh, fashion career. She had to work her way back up. So right now she's a store clerk. She hasn't done her daily tasks. So she's not going to get a promotion, which sucks. But it's okay. Are you still here cleaning? Where is she? Like, our maid sucks. Like, we're going to probably end up firing her because she doesn't do anything. Like, at all. And I don't even know where she is. So, I guess she left. Because we're the ones upstairs. I don't know where she is. So, yeah, we're going to end up firing her tomorrow. If she even comes on a weekday, weekends. I never really noticed if they do or don't but whatever so i'm going to go ahead and pause and then i will see you guys when we get to the restaurant okay so the girls is home i don't know what's going on with the rainbow and stuff over her head but whatever she happy um oh see she got an a right before she graduated so she's gonna she's going to be graduating as a a student so i'm really proud of her good job and once she ages up she's gonna be good um, she's reading a book right now. I got a present that I think is um I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? That present was for you. Be grateful. Like my kids know better. I don't know why they play with me right now. Um, who are you even talking to? You went downstairs. Okay, little girl, go um get yourself together because since you don't want to go to the dinner, you're gonna be staying home. So wh what you about to do? Oh, shoot. I should have left her alone. She could have did that. Oh, Mel, no. Wait, where are you going? She's going to throw that away. Okay, good. Um, What is she wearing? What are you wearing? Did I put you in that? There's no way I put you in that outfit. What are you wearing? How did you change your whole outfit? I don't even want to know. Okay, so what are you about to do? You're not going to nap on the... You know what? She can nap, but not on the couch. So, I'm going to have her go nap upstairs. Since we're going to wait for her mother to get home. So, take a nap. And then, I'm going to have you... Throw the, the, the poop away. And then, I'm going to have you come throw away these leaves. And then, I'm going to have you come up here and take a shower. And then, open and get you some of... Oh, crap. Get you, wait, I don't want to do it like that. Let's do get leftovers. Yep, get leftovers and then do your homework. And then it is bedtime. Bam, her whole night is set. Next, for you, I'm going to let you go ahead and throw that away. You're going to get a nap. You're going to do what? Oh, my God. I'll put that in the hamper, please. Thank you. <laughs> like, y'all blowing me. Little girl. Thank you. You all happy and stuff, but whatever. Go ahead, do you, boo. What are you doing? Somebody's already throwing those away. So I want you to go do your homework. And then I want you to go use the bathroom downstairs. Because I think your sister's going to be going upstairs. So I want you to use the bathroom. Where's the toilet? Oh, there it is. Use the bathroom, take a shower. And then I want you to come up here and get you some leftovers. 
and then it is bedtime bedtime honey and then by the time Jim gets home they should be in bed and we can go to dinner because we have it to 2 a.m okay okay it's cold in my house I, I really wish my kids <laughs> would stop going outside like I would hate that to pick these picnic tables up but they stressing me I think I'm gonna lock the doors just for the owners of the room or whatever what is this what is this what is this she has to go to scouts oh my god okay who has to, no no she has to go to her um her study group no her chess club you know what she's not gonna go today she's not gonna go today she gotta go she gotta stay home because she can't be out and we not home so she gotta go home she gotta stay home today she's gonna miss it but it's okay um, she's still taking her power nap. Why? Why would she take a power nap after she already took a nap on the bed? Like, cut it out. Stop trying me, Sims. Why are you outside in the rain with no clothes on? What time do you get off, girl? What? Working 16 hours. Oh, she just got off. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have her come in here and use the bathroom. And then we're going to wait for these girls to get done and go to bed so that we can leave as well. And now I will officially see you guys at the restaurant. Okay, so they made it to the restaurant. I had to change the outfits because I apparently didn't do their formal wear. But um, they're all dizzy from their illnesses. Like, you know, I'm really kind of over these mods that I have. Like the private practice mod and all that. It's, it's kind of aggravating now. But I think this is a part of the explore mod is with the unknown illnesses making them go to the doctor or whatever i'm over it um but um then mel has on her regular outfit that we've seen a thousand times and then jim has on her sweater her some ripped jeans and some pink um adidas or whatnot so they're gonna come in this little fancy restaurant looking regular schmegler and then they're gonna request but the only table they can actually get. Well, they can come over here. Dad, they could have brought the girls here too. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. But you know, they ain't want to come. So, we're going to request. Nope, not her. Who's calling? Look. Can you stop hitting me up? I am a married woman. You was my trainer for a day. That was it. Play in the rain. No, ma'am. Do not play in that rain. Come in here and request this table. That's what I want you to do. Thank you. And then I want you to, to sit down right here. Sit. And I want you to come right here and sit. Where was you going? You're not playing in this rain, Jim. Jim, get out of this rain. Yo, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with her playing in this daggone rain. She tried it. You ain't got no shirt on. Who is you? Devin. Where's your clothes at, honey? <laughs> you know what? I don't I can't. I can't. So now I wonder how this works. Like, do we just order? Like, what's up? How do we do this? So let's see. Okay, so no. Now this is you taking your daughter and your wife out to eat. So I'm gonna need you to order. Teru, Swaby. Everything is zero. Okay, look at them. So Mel about to get her some wine. Butter free. Um, we're gonna get well, baby girl can have her some wine too. Like she can have her some. Get you some white nectar blend. Matter of fact, no, get you some granite falls grapple blanco. <laughs> and then sorry, but you gotta get you some iced tea. Here, get you some iced tea. <clears throat> and then, you know what? No, she's gonna get her some water. She's gonna keep her healthy. Uh, even though wine ain't healthy, but it's okay. So now they're gonna skip appetizers and go straight. Oh, okay. I guess you're not. Oh, here you go. Main course right here. So they're gonna get. Hmm. I'm gonna let. Meet this. <clears throat> oh, voice went away. Meeting this Monte Carlo for. Baby girl, we're gonna let semi-firm beet noodles for 
Mel, we should make them girls come. This whole family eating together, that's expensive. And they getting free food and them girls ain't want to come. Oh, they coming next time. Trust it. Trust and believe. Matter of fact, no, Mel going to get a Capri salad. That's what she's going to get. And then she can't have no seafood. No seafood for her. So she going to get the semi-firm beet noodles. Okay. So that's what we're going to get them. So Jim has the semi-firm beet noodles with water. Um, Mel has a Capri salad with white. That don't go together. Yeah, that don't go together. But she's going to get it anyway because I don't care. And she got the meatless Monte Carlo with some wine. So, and it's what? Is that a, is that a zero? Zero dollars? Oh, my God. So, yeah. Zero it is, baby. And we already did our task for the night on the town. So, let's talk to mommy about the party and be like i understand sis birthday is like the day after mine but we don't want to share our birthdays together because she's a child i'm an adult i don't want to do that so ask her about her day how was her surgery how's she feeling after her surgery um ask her a question be like how long is my party gonna be and can i can i leave afterwards um i left after my graduation party i ain't gonna lie um discuss fashion with her oh wait i'm under the wrong person skirt okay so here <laughs> ask her a question ask her about her day ask her do you have to stay the whole party if you can leave with maverick because he want to take you to dinner um in the end i just want to do too much in this video Complain about nine on the town. We're not complaining about anything. We're gonna be happy. Discuss this, um, the theory stuff. I missed it. Um, an inside joke. And then Jim, you can talk to her as well. Um, boost about your family and how much you love your family and you loved her as a daughter, even though she didn't birth you. Um, this must be Maverick sex on her now. I know it's Corey's ladies night at the bar tonight. Well, honey, you're still a teenager, so no. But let's send a quick text to, um, what are y'all doing? What are they doing? Well, why they gone? Send a quick text to, um, to Maverick saying we, we own for tomorrow. So send him a quick text. So Mel using the bathroom. And dinner is up. So the food is here. Got her sandwich. Her new Ooh, she's excited. That's right, girl. You enjoy your food. Okay. So they're eating their little free meal. I'm going to see if they let us have dessert for free, too, because we're going to go ahead and do that as well. I'm just saying. Why not? Why not? Okay, I did it again. Uh, we're not about to ask about Woohoo because we're literally, literally about to be an adult tomorrow. Um, so she wanted to talk to them about Maverick and how they kind of been talking, even though she was a teenager. Um, oh, she don't like the noodles. What quality is it? You may not like it, but it's healthy for you. Okay? She doesn't like it. So let's discuss this with your wife. Look, this ain't good. I'm glad it's free. <sighs> Being blissfully. Oh. Why are you over here, Devin? Why? Why are you over here? Bye-bye. Go away. Thank you. Look at him trying to holler at her. She is not grown yet. Bye-bye. Dad, he bugging. With his wife sitting over there. She gonna fight him. Um, what was it? Brainstorm method of chef napping? What does this mean? What is that? We're going to talk about it anyway, though. Okay, so I'm having mail. Order for the dessert now. Order for table. Jim has tasted the wonders of experimental food and now something, 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 something. So they all going to get some water this time. And then they're going to get a dessert. So they're going to get um, lava butt cake, chocolate souffle, a lemon meringue pie. Mel's going to get the lemon, I mean, Jim's going to get the lemon rain pie. She's going to get the chocolate souffle. And then Jim's not going to get a dessert because she's determined to stick to this weight. So she's not going to get one. But she's going to drink her water. Look at her, she done dropped the food on the floor. Come on, Miss Lady. Don't drop the food on the floor. This plate needs to be moved. 
Okay, so yeah, she said that it takes a maverick about tomorrow. And this is basically dinner. Dinner's done. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Y'all know me. I don't got time for all that unnecessary gameplay. So y'all got to watch all that and waste my time on my videos. So I will see y'all in a second. Okay, y'all. So it's the next day. It's 7.50 in the morning. Um... Jim and Marissa took power naps and they came downstairs. Well, these two came downstairs and started working out. I just brung Jim down here and might I say she looks good for the second trimester, honey. Oh, wait, I think she's in third now. It said 19 hours. Let's see. 16 hours. She'll be in her third trimester. She is a huge. I wonder what she's having. I can't remember if she's that big. It's a boy or if a girl. I don't remember. But, um, yeah. So, she's over on the treadmill. She was using a punching bag. But now I have her on the treadmill. So, she's going to try her best to keep that baby weight off. So, she ain't got to work as hard after the baby get here. Um, Mel is about to. I jinxed it. I said Loki never gets sick. And Loki is sick. I jinxed it. I really did. So she's cold. Well, she was out there running around in the rain investigating stuff. So she did this to herself. I didn't do this. So she is about to um, examine her. I want to try to see what I did with the house upstairs as well. So let me pause. Um, but I took out the living room or whatever. Whoa, what she got going on over here? What's good? What's really good with you? What is good with you? What are you doing? I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her. But it's something good. But still, I don't know what that is. It's new. But I still got the living room. So now that will be the baby's room. So now they will not have a living room. They will be out here talking amongst each other or out here or interacting elsewhere. Just not sitting in front of that TV all the time like they've been doing. Also, since I have it looking like a greenhouse, I actually officially made it into a greenhouse. So um, this is where Jim is going to be planting her plants over here and making her some flower arrangements. Like, why not? Since she's planting now, might as well. And then I got my little seed packs over here that I forgot I had this whole time. Oh, I'm about to have somebody go get some frogs. I forgot that I was back there. But yeah. Um, so yeah, it's actually really nice today. It's windy. It's a little cool, but the sun is out. That's what I'm happy to see is that sun. But anyway, so yeah, that's why I just wanted to update y'all really quick on this. And then I will see y'all at 12. I don't want to just record random like nothing. This because they're really not doing anything. They just have been playing on the computer and eating. Well, she was eating. She just got that plate. But um, that's it. They're not doing anything and it's not even worth like recording. And I don't want to waste precious time with the like the party and after the party. Um, and so let me stop talking. <laughs> Okay, and it is time for the birthday party. So let's get started. Now, what was that? We're making a cake. Shut up. Okay, so she's supposed to be upstairs making a cake. She's about to make the cake. The girl's over here playing out of the way. She's up here. She just made some iced tea for everybody. Um, Mom, Mel is cooking some hamburgers, veggie burgers, and grilled chicken. And she is about to make the birthday cake. And then I'm going to have her here put the candles on it. And then um, make some cupcakes. Let's turn this off. I already locked all the doors. Oh, my God. Can you not burn down the house? Thank you. Oh, my God. And now the grill is dirty. Where are you gonna put it? Where are you gonna put it? Okay, I'm gonna put it over here. Um, who's the first guest? Who are you? Corey. Hey, Corey. Corey, are you sitting at the table? I ain't mad at it, Corey. I ain't mad at it, girl. Um, let's. Can I move this? Was it about like it was? Um, let's put it right here. And let's turn it on. Turn on summer strength. We are about to throw a rocking party. But this is in the way of the food. Let's put it right here. Can I put it on the floor? Yep, right here on the floor. Okay, so let's put the food over here. 
Who is this? Bray, your outfit is horrible, honey. And I can't even change his outfit because I took MC Command out of my game. Oh my god. Oh, I cannot change his clothes. Oh my god. Okay, so if they come in here crazy, just ignore the rental kids' outfits. Because apparently I didn't do braids or his pants got deleted. I don't know. Because his twin is fine. So I'm not understanding. So yeah, so I'm waiting for her to do the cake so I can hurry up and put candles on it. The girls out here making mess. Of course they are. Oh, play. Where is Maverick and where did... Okay, Maverick's out here using the bathroom. Yep, his outfit is a mess too. So yeah, we're just going to add like his... They're not a mess because I took MC Command out because I was really tired of listening to the um, error messages. Add birthday candles. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Whew, okay, thank you. And now come in here and bake, you, bake some cupcakes. Because I really... I don't know why, but I really want some vanilla cupcakes to be made. Okay, so now we're going to have everybody... Let's form a group. Let's make this easier. Um, so let's... Um, action, form, group. So we're going to have Bray, Maverick, Corey, Mel, Jim, McKenna, Majori. Everybody's in the group. Okay, back. And so we're going to leave the grilled chicken. Well, can I fit the grilled chicken up here? I can. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So... I don't know what's wrong with my arm, but that is hurting me. Okay, so while she's making the cupcakes, so we're going to have... I wish I'd let you grab drinks together. That would be, like, perfect. Um, Let me break up this group. Let me break up this group. Okay, so I got Marissa in the group with the twins and Maverick. And then I got Mel in the group with Jim. And I have... Majori and McKenna in a group together. So I'm going to have I'm going to let her finish cooking. But I'm going to have these three come get some veggie burgers. So um, hello? Why would they do that? Oh, come on. Why is my game acting like this with me? It's hurting my feelings. So I'm going to have the girls come get some grilled chicken together. Pick up a servant together. Then I'm going to have them. I won't let them do it. Like, who is... Don't I have her in a group with them? Let me see. Go here together. And... Oh, well. You know what? Whatever. Grab a servant. So, everybody's at the music playing. The candles is on the cake. We're just waiting uh, for yes. Jim to finish. <laughs> so, you grab you grabbed her a burger. Um, God, I want, is she going to grab one? Yes. Okay. She grabbed one and he grabbed some grilled chicken. That's fine. As long as they eat. I don't really care. Um, Mel, are you hungry? No, but you got to use the bathroom. Dang. That's going to be the second. Me oh, the majority's missing her scout meeting for her sister's birthday. So we're going to miss the meeting. Um, I'm going to have the girls come get service together. Okay, so sit here and eat. And then Majori, you sit here and eat. I don't know what's going on with the dog, but she's working the nerves. Eat your food. I wish I could turn the music up, but I got copyright every time I have it. Have the music on, and I'm not in the mood. Okay, so the cupcakes might can fit over here on the table, too. Let's help them out and get drinks for everybody. So here's your drink. Oh, they done got up now. Oh, well. Here's your iced tea. Here, get you your iced tea. Okay, Bray, you need iced tea? Oh, oh, we can put it back. Okay. We'll go to the bathroom. Okay, she's going to the bathroom. And then, oh wait, oh, the cupcakes is done. Let's put the cupcakes out here. Okay, so now let's have everybody dance together. 
pants together. And then I'm gonna have them here. Eat this meal. And then you can get you a veggie burger. Um, pick up a serving. And then get you a drink. Come get you a drink. Mail. You pour some more. So everybody's dancing, eating, having a good time. Um, where is Mel? Oh, right here. Okay. So she's trying to keep up with her her figure. Um, I know I had said the girls had kind of gained some weight too, but I went and created them when I changed their outfits and slimmed them back down. So she pours some more drinks. And then we're going to have everybody come over here together after Mel finished eating. Did you not go to the bathroom? Oh, you're tired. No, ma'am. Here, come grab you something to eat. Here, grab a serving of grilled chicken. You're going to get you some grilled chicken. And then you're going to drink you some nice tea. Okay, so I'm going to let her eat. Do you have? Are you still hungry? Okay, you're not hungry. That's good. So she's dancing. Did you eat? You did. Let me help you with your bladder. And then she ate. I'm going to help her with her bladder because she's going to take forever. And everybody's good. Okay, so now. Oh, she went to the bathroom anyway. Okay, let me put the walls up before she get naked. There we go. Okay, so Mel, cut it out. So we're going to go here together. The party's almost over. Let me hear you up. here so oh we gotta wait for her to come out here oh hurry up and use the bathroom go here together uh-uh come back go here together and then i want y'all to go here together as well okay and then i want everybody to watch her blow out the candles Uh-uh. Get that drink, girl. Blow out the candles. Come on. Marissa. Ooh, Lord. Jim is big. Marissa, please blow out your candles, honey. Okay. Well, your sister decided to do her homework, and she is so in the way of my picture. Gosh. So she's officially aged up. Oh, that's different. It says young adulthood, lifetime, lifelong responsibilities, burgoning. I don't know how to say that. Careers and vast, vast horizons await. Whoever said their twenties aren't a blast? Huh. Good manners, having good, have from having positive manners, and she's responsible. Hmm. -mm. You're responsible, so you might be ready to move out on your own one day. So she's creative, she's a dog lover, and one more. What else can we make her? Let's see. She's supposed to be really into art, but we didn't really have her doing a lot of it. Let's see. Though. Let's see. I think we're gonna let her be a college student. That's what we're gonna. Oh my God, wrong button. That's what I think we're gonna do. So we're gonna make her be. No, let's do HBCU student because they are black. They just like really light skin like me. So HBCU student it is. Yay! So let's have. Call everybody to meal. <laughs> Call to meal. Oh. oh, the romance festival. Oh, so he's going to take her to the romance festival for her birthday. And we're going to see what happens from there. So everybody can take a bite. So right after the party ends, we're going to go to the romance festival for her birthday. 
Oh, they getting some more chicken. They eating up that food. That's what I'm talking about. Jim, are you going to get some cake? No, don't eat a burger, baby. Don't eat a burger. Come get you some cake. Take a piece. Take a piece of cake. Um, I'll let you eat your girl's chicken. That's fine. <laughs> she eating her cake. Oh, she's done with her cake. So I'm going to have you put this stuff away so you can um, get your little badge thingies. Here, put this away. Okay, and then when you're done, come put the cake away as well. And then I'm going to have, oh, oh, Marissa, how about you um, talk to Maverick? Oh, my God, come over here. <laughs> okay, so I'm basically waiting for the party to end, and then I'm going to have them head to the romance festival, and I will see y'all there because this video is like mad long. Matter of fact, no, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. And then I'm going to pick right back up off at the Romance Festival for her birthday. And then we're going to just head right on into McKenna's birthday. So I hope you guys like this part. I am so sorry that it's longer than it should be. Oh, yep. See, now he's leaving. <laughs> Skirt. Pause. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. And um, I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit that bell button so you can know when I upload videos. Make sure you follow all my social medias down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.